Hey guys, I'm back once again for another Star Wars figure review and finally for the figure of Rey from The Last Jedi. And oh boy, I really love The Last Jedi. So I really was itching to do a review of this figure for quite a while ever since I got it. And I haven't really done much about a figure review or thought about it since I'm still in the actually on the verge of collecting more Star Wars figures from that movie and the next upcoming solo movie. So anyways, like, this is obviously one of my personal favorite figures because, again, Star Wars Last Jedi, one of my favorite movies, I would say. But anyways, before I get to the figure, let's get on with the package. And it's pretty small in detail. So, we got the Star Wars logo up here in red, along with uh, Daisy Ridley as Rey with her likeness, carrying the lightsaber at a side position. Rey, Jedi training, and that's, how the, and that's what the figure is. And we also got the Disney logo with the Hasbro logo as well. It's kind of fascinating that the Disney logo shows up in the Star Wars figures nowadays. And this figure is a part of the part of a Force Link collection or just they have these bits on their foot, I guess, when you put them on. And at the back there's explaining more about that Force Link Force Link thing. And the upcoming solo movie will have this uh, Force Link as well, which is really interesting. And there's the uh Force Link like the main thing with uh Kylo Ren as well. Then we got the Star Wars logo up there, the information around. And yeah, there's a lot of like warning signs in different languages and, and more information. The Disney logo again and Hasbro as well. So And there's also a piece of paper, there's like two pieces of paper over here, so I don't really have to get them out because I did the last review, we kinda made it a little bit too long. So anyway, that's it for the package. Let's get to the figure itself. So starting off with that head sculpt, I would love to say that this definitely looks like Daisy Ridley because, yet again, I do have the Force Awakens Daisy Ridley, I mean, uh, Ray figure, which I'll just be getting out right here for just uh, before the comparison. I like the lightness, but yet again, I would say the better one definitely goes to the last Jedi Ray. I would say it's probably because of those eyes are painted in much better, I guess. I don't know, there's something about this figure that's sparkling with a better likeness than the Force Awakens one. I mean, this one looks like Daisy Ridley, but very close to, so, yeah, but I'll, okay, I'll leave this, fi okay, I'll leave that figure to the side. That's, that's her staff falling down. Anyway, so, okay, back to the figure. This figure looks pretty detailed, and yet again, it's actually in a neutral pose, which, nowadays, the Star Wars figures have gotten to this route of going to the old school, ne like, neutral pose style, which some people really don't like. Honestly, I don't mind it, but I wish they would go back to more like a, I guess, like, actually having poses along with side, but also making the figure still look neutral. But yet again, the neutral pose or anything, it's nothing too bad, but I wish it would have been done better. Anyway, like, again, there's some detailing around the figure. It does look pretty good for the actual, like, scaled four, four inch figure or three quarter inch style, and there's the gun on her working holster, and she carries the lightsaber, which is... Anakin's white, Anakin's and Luke's lightsaber, which I'm just gonna go over the accessories really quick because the figure is actually just a basic figure, and it's all right to be a basic figure. It's just it's still a pretty cool figure in my in my eyes. Anyway, just autofocus. I mean, there's a detailing on here that does, and they do got the same five points of articulation of the figure, so I wouldn't have to go really through much about the figure. It's pretty basic, but yet again, it's nothing too special. But I would say the figure is definitely good, I would say. Here's an up-close look at the staff that she carries. It also has a, like, the band wiring, I guess. Or the clip that comes with it. I mean, it's also very detailed. Maybe small, but detailed as well. And there is a paint wear when I uh, was putting it on at times. Yet again, she, she also does carry it on her shoulders as well, due to it being sculpted like that. Also, here's the little force link on the side of this boot right here. So, just to give an indication, the figures nowadays will be having the force link on the bottom of their foot to connect with the starter stat, I guess. Okay, so now I'm finished with this review. At this point, the final verdict for this figure will possibly might be, I guess, a 7 or 6. I will go for a 7 right now. I mean, really good detail. They're definitely for that likeness. Really great likeness on a... Uh, Pretty much all around, the detailing and everything looks great. 
But all in all, with a neutral pose is what I'm really more concerned about. Almost every last Jedi figure, or already every Star Wars figure in the basic toy line contains like, they're obviously neutral poses. Sometimes the hand hand movements may be different on most of the figures, but yet again, I would say the neutral pose does kind of make the figure like, I don't know. I don't know, this might be a word for it, but it, it definitely ain't boring, I would say. Just the appeal. But yet again, the figure's really good. I do like this figure. So if anything, I would recommend you picking this figure up if you get a chance. And of course, this is the uh, Last Jedi Ray in the training outfit. So, see you guys later.